Didn't end up filming today. I did a bunch of editing, which is always so much fun. I tried out a new editor today. Again, and again, nothing. You know, the, it's this. It's like I get the same footage. They all do the same shit. Like, it doesn't matter how much you tell an editor what you're looking for, how you want it. They do the same shit. It's almost like they have an app that they use. They take all your footage, they throw it in an app, and it chops it up, and then they go in and they just kind of shorten things or they do little, little things, and then they throw it at you. Because this is the second time this is in like in like a month I've tried two editors and they basically gave me the exact same footage the first one was kind of like newer to the game you know she knew how to edit she was she was good at editing but she, but she like no matter what I told her like she just kept giving me the same crap like the first video I gave her she sent it back you know slow not really short form quality like looked more like YouTube I was like all right well maybe she does YouTube worked with her, you know, went in the Premiere file, um, cut it up, sent it back to her, said like, here, like, this is kind of what I'm looking for. I'm sweating right now, so I just got out of the gym. You know, she kicked it back, still had some problems. Sequencing was a little bit of an issue with her, but whatever. So then I do another video with her. And when she sent it back to me the first time, it was exactly the same as the last time. And it's like, we and we went over so much about fixing it and it just was like, what the fuck? So anyways, whatever. That was it, you know. And then it went through the same shit, like three times revision, coached her up again. I end up doing most of the editing. So okay, I try this new guy. This new guy has eight years experience, has a food website doing video editing and videography. So I was like, sweet, you know, kind of excited. Like, this could be the guy, right? Send him a video. He sends me back the video almost exactly the way she did the first time. So now I'm starting to think there's there's got to be apps out there where they where it chops it make I know there is I know there's apps that will take your raw footage chop it up into viral videos like 30 of them and then you know and then that's it so they all must be using that kicking it back to you you're like no this is boring like what do you what is this like you know what I mean like this is like amateur hour when I send an editor a clip I film in 4K. So I'm not, I like to have it, I'm not, I'm not in, I'm not pushed in, like getting those, sh when you see the shots on my short form, really close up shots, I didn't, I didn't like get the camera right there and like zoom in and like get that shot just like that. I got it wide. There's a big wide shot. I'm actually far away. The shot's actually not that close. It's just clear because I made sure the focus was in that area because I shoot in 4K. So that way, if I want to zoom in, I can. If I don't, I don't have to. No matter, it gives me options in editing. As an editor, I do that as an editor because I want options when I'm making a video, right? So when I give an editor these clips that are like not close up, they don't push in at all. They don't do anything to the clip. They don't They don't do anything. It's long story short, two editors down, I'm, I'm, I'm giving up. Like. I know I shouldn't give up after two. Like, there's a million. The, the guy's out there for sure, a girl. It's just very frustrating because, like, I don't have a lot of time between making videos here, go to the gym, hang out with my family, make short form content, edit it, be on emails, getting paid, all that shit. My manager dealing with him and getting me more brand deals. Like, there's, I am constantly, con and, and, there's people that are coming up as food content creators that I talk to, that I help, that I'm like mentoring to get up. Cause like when I first started, nobody talked to me, you know, like nobody did. I was on my own. You'd ask, I'd ask people, Hey, you know, I love your content. Like, you know, I'm really working hard over here. And they, they I'd be lucky if they were like, you know, give me a heart on my message. Forget it, nothing. But anyways, long story short, I don't know how we got way into that. I am in need of an editor bad, because if I can get an editor, then I can focus on filming, and then I can push out more content. And more content equals more follows, more brand deals, more eyeballs seeing my content. I will find an editor eventually, but it's it's tough for me to keep looking when like I don't have time for this shit. Like especially when you're like I've been doing this eight years, uh, I have a whole fucking business 
you know, built around this. I'll do your first one for free. I'm so good. And then you send me like complete trash. But all right, I'm done venting. The point is tomorrow, I'm going to bring you in tomorrow. I forgot last time. We talked last time. I'm bringing you in. I'm going to show you behind the scenes a little bit. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning, we are going to film a chicken sandwich. The chicken skewer, right? It's going to be bacon chicken ranch, chicken skewer. I'm going to cut up some chicken thighs. Take the pieces of chicken thigh, wrap bacon around it, and skewer each one. So each one has its own bacon wrapped around it. Oh, wait, I'm going to marinate the pieces of chicken in like a ranch-like marinade. Then wrap that in bacon and skewer each one. And then air fry it. It'll be chicken bacon ranch. Chicken bacon ranch skewer air fried. Crispy chicken bacon ranch skewers. Oh, that doesn't sound too bad. Crispy bacon chicken ranch skewers. Anyways, that's what we're going to do tomorrow. <laughs> so I guess enough talking about it and let's just and let's just get into it. So I know it's today and tomorrow we're going to do it, but either way it's going to feel like 2 seconds for you. I'll see you there. Bacon chicken ranch is so good you're going to have to try this one. This sandwich only comes out to 375 calories, 24 grams of protein. I'm down to 216 pounds since I started this and I'm loving every sandwich that's come out of here. The best part about this is I wrap bacon around the individual chicken and skewer every single one. So in every bite you're getting the chicken, bacon, and you're getting that ranch dressing. The full breakdowns in the description and I'll see you on the next one.